Okay, let's write some fields and see what is going to happen to the fields. Okay, E1. E1 is that first one that reflects. It just had an R, a single reflection. E0 was the amplitude. We want to put it all, so E to the J omega T. We'll think about how all of these are oscillating. And in terms of phase, we'll say the first one has no phase. We'll define the origin of time with the first one. It does not need a phase factor. Let's look at E2. Let's see. This is the first one to reflect, or the, this is the, the second beam. So it goes in T, it reflects R prime, it goes out T prime. So this one is T T prime, R prime, E naught E to the J omega T minus one of those deltas. So that delta I described was one trip through the film. Let's do E3. And this is similar to what we did before. It's got to go in, it's got to come out. R prime to the third, E naught E to the J omega T. And now this one will do that same delta, but twice, right? It's phase lag that builds up due to the difference in the path is minus two delta. Oops. 2 delta. All right. And we could go on. Uh, E4 equals T, T prime, R prime to the fifth. E naught E to the J omega T minus 3 delta. And uh, we could keep going, but we won't. E5 equals blah, 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 blah. OK. So what we can write here is there's definitely a pattern for E2 to infinity. Right? E1 is special. The alpha ray is special. But E2 and beyond um, is E n equals T, T prime, R prime. And now we need to know what to put R prime, what power to put it to. And it actually, if you look at it and think about it and scratch your head for a while, it's 2n minus 3. Right? It's going up doubled, so you have to have 2n, and you have to have minus 3 because you're so far behind. So 2 times 2 is 4, minus 3 is 1. 3 times 2 is 6, minus 3 is 3. 4 times 2 is 8, minus 3 is 5. Right? So t, t prime, r prime to the 2n minus 3, e naught, e to the j, omega t minus n minus 1 delta. Let's see, is that right? Uh, 2 minus 1 is minus 1 delta, 3 minus 1 is minus 2 delta, 4 minus 1, yeah, it's minus that uh, delta. Okay. And this is for n greater than or equal to 2. Okay. So n equals 1 is something else. Okay. So that's all of our, our higher terms. So in that case, we can now write E, R, the reflected... Um, thing? Well, we just add them. So it's R, E naught, E to the J omega T plus the sum for big N equals 2 to infinity of T, T prime, R prime to the 2 N minus 3, E naught, this is staying all level and symmetric and beautiful, yes, well, sort of, E that made it ugly. E to the J omega T's minus N minus 1 delta. So that is the reflected field. This has all infinite terms, the first term being special. It uses N to describe how many reflections and how many phases um, you go through. So the next several boards are going to be about ways to manipulate this to write it in a useful way. This is a case where we're done. This is it. Multiply that by its complex conjugate, and you get the irradiance, and we're done. But you have infinite terms, and you don't have any intuition for what's going to happen. So we need to manipulate it to try to get some intuition.